Good morning, scholars. This morning we're going to continue our treatment of the verbal adjectives in tos and teos, looking at their syntax. Now, you might recall that Smythe categorizes and places these verbal nouns, actually verbal adjectives. He discusses them and places them in a system at 358. As we see at 2b, you have the verbal adjectives in tos, denoting possibility, bilatos, lovable, or agraptos, written, and then we have teos, denoting necessity. It's these and teos that we'll be looking at the syntax of in this video. So, you have two alternative constructions, the personal and the impersonal. Verbal adjectives from transitive verbs, that is, verbs that take a direct object, take the personal construction when the subject is emphasized, but the impersonal construction when the emphasis falls on the verbal adjective itself. Verbal adjectives from intransitive verbs, that is, such as are followed by genitive or datives, take only the impersonal construction. So we'll see what these two constructions are. Now the personal construction, which is passive, the personal verbal in teos is used only when the verb from which it is derived takes the accusative. The verbal agrees in subject with the subject in gender, number, and case. The agent, if expressed, must always stand in the dative. I'll read that again because there are a lot of little details. The personal verbal in teos is used only when the verb from which it is derived takes the accusative. The verbal agrees with the subject in gender, number, and case. The agent, if expressed, must always stand in the dative. So here, first example from Xenophon, potamos tis hemin estin diabateos. So you see that potamos tis is um, masculine, singular, nominative, and so too diabateos agrees with that in gender, number, and case. A river must be crossed by us, and the hemin expresses the agent. Potamos tis hemin este diabateos. Then the second example from Xenophon again. Um, the state must be benefited by you. O pelete a soy he polis este. So again, he polis is feminine, singular, nominative, as is o pelete a, long alpha. The state must be benefited by you. So soy, the dative, expresses the agent. O pelete a soy. Hey, Paulus Este. Additional examples, first from Xenophon. Tuta u poiete on. This must not be done by me, or I must not do this. We see that tuta is nominative, neuter, and poete on, again, is neuter, nominative, singular. And then the next example, again from Xenophon. Those who would be allies must be well treated. Hoi sumakain et elontes et u poiete oi. So, poiete oi is masculine, uh, plural, and n nominative, as is the subject hoi et elontes, those wishing sumakain to be allies. Hoi sumakain et delontes eu poi et oi must be well treated. And then another example from Xenophon. U tosu tau hore ore orate humin onta por eutea. 
do you not see such high mountains that must be crossed by you? So, u horate, do you not see? To sauta ore, such great mountains. Onta por e utea, that have to be crossed, who mean, by you, the dative expressing the agent. Now, we move to the impersonal or active construction. The impersonal verbal stands in the neuter nominative, usually singular, te on, rarely pure, pure rarely pure, plural, te a. Its object stands in the case, genitive, dative, or accusative, required by the verb from which the verbal adjective is derived. Verbs taking the genitive or dative have the impersonal construction only. The agent, if expressed, must always stand in the dative. So here from Plato's Euthyphro, we have a um, verbal adjective based on didome, didome. And again, remember that you can always find the form of the uh, verbal adjective in Smyth's index of verbs. So here we have toi adikunte dote on dikain. The wrongdoer must suffer punishment. Now didome dikain is to pay the price, a very important and common, much seen idiom. And again, the agent is expressed by the dative toi adikunte. So, you know, it must be paid the price by the one who does wrong. The wrongdoer must suffer punishment. Now, um, Smyth describes this impersonal construction as active um, as opposed to the personal one, which is passive. But I wouldn't worry about expressing that active or passive, you know, tying your translation down to that. What's important is that you get the uh, expression of necessity and get your agent and your subject and object uh, clear. So um, now we can compare day plus the accused in the infinitive with this impersonal construction. He says, since the impersonal construction is virtually active and hence equivalent to day with the accusative and infin infinitive, active or middle, the agent sometimes stands in the accusative as if dependent on day. The copula is perhaps always omitted when the agent is expressed by the accusative. Now, so we have a wonderful example from Plato's Gorgias. It is necessary that the man who desires to be happy should pursue and practice temperance. So, Ton bulamenon eudaimona enai sofrosunen diokteon kai asketeon. Um, I'm not sure how the accent got messed up on asketeon. But um, this diokteon kai asketeon is equal to de diokein kai asgain sofrosunen. He ought to pursue and practice um, temperance. So this is uh, equivalent expressions, de with the accusative, and so sometimes you can have um, the agent, i.e. here, ton bu la menon yudai mona enai, you can have it expressed in the accusative uh, on analogy to the day construction. It is necessary that the man who desires to be happy should practice and pursue temperance. Ton bu la menon yudai mona enai, so for sunen diokte on kai asketeon. 
Another example with the from Lombano and Didomai. We must receive and give pledges and hostages. Pista kai homerus hostages. Homerus dote on kai lete on. This is something in the ancient world just to make sure that people uh, abided by their agreements if you made some agreement that uh, between parties that were having instable relationships, states, I mean, they would give hostages, exchange hostages uh, with one another. So oftentimes you find, I mean, this is most uh, conspicuous in ancient Rome, where some prince of a subject peoples will be living among the Roman emperors because it makes his father uh, do what he says the fact that his son is in the power of the Romans. So this is not uh, uncommon at all, this giving and exchange of hostages and pledges, basically. Okay, another example from Hire Omai, to choose or prefer. Ton dana ton hemin met et udoxi as hire te on este. We must prefer death with honor. So, um, death with honor is to be preferred um, by us. Who mean? I'm sorry, there's a new there. Who mean? Not who mean. Who mean? Um, from Boeteo to assist. I say that you must render assistance to the interests at stake. This, I believe, is from um, Demosthenes. Pay me de Boe. De te on enai tois pragma ses sen humin. Beme de bo e te te on enai tois pragma sen humin. I uh, apologize again for the misprint. It should be pragma sen. Now, these are a nice set of examples from Peto uh, to obey. First one from Euripides Hippolytus. Peste on patros logois. Peste on patros logois. Now here the logois is the object of peto because you believe you put faith in something um, or obey. So that something is in the data. So peste on patros logois. One must obey the words of one's father. And the second example, thou must obey in this, i.e., you must obey in this manner. Peste on tade soy. The soy expresses who must obey, whereas this is to be distinguished from peste on esten se. One must persuade thee. So if you see these three examples, there is some trickery that can occur here as to what's what. Um, pay stay on patros logois, pay stay on tade soy, pay stay on esten se. Uh, there's some subtlety here to be dealt with. Now our next example is a wonderful one from Thucydides, and the verbs uh, in play are para didome, Betray, diacrino, decide a matter, and timoreo, to help or succor. And I'll just read the translation. This is from uh, one of the speeches, or one of the final speeches in the debate um, at Sparta, where the Spartan speaker says, Others have much money and many ships and horses, but we have good allies, whom we must not give up to the Athenians, nor by lawsuits and words decide the matter as it is anything but in word that we are harmed. But we must render instant and powerful help. So you see, paradote, or u paradote, uh, we must not betray, dia critea, ude dia critea, nor must we discern or decide these things, dikais kai logois, by words or, you know, fancy 
our lawsuits, but Allah Timorete, but we must give powerful, we must give assistance. So Alois men ga kremata esten kai pola kai ne es kai hipoi. To others, on the one hand, are money, much pola, kremata pola, kai ne es kai hipoi, and many ships and many horses. He mean that, but to us are sumakoi agatoi, good allies. Who's, which allies? U paradate a. Tois Atenai Ois Esten, who, which alloys are not to be handed over, betrayed to the Athenians. So here we have parado, paradidomi, you know, you, you betray a, an accusative to a dative. Who's U paradote a Tois Atenai Ois Esten? Ude de Kais Kai Logois, dia Critea, nor is it to be decided by words or lawsuits? I mean, the Athenians are always want to make make things a matter of these subtle distinctions, make it, you know, legalize everything, um, or make it a matter of legal uh, distinction and adjudicate it. Whereas the Sparta Spartan speaker here just wants to cut to the chase. Me logoi kai autos blapdomanus for not. In word are they, our allies, being harmed. Allah, timorete a intake kai panti stene. But we must assist them in haste and with all of our might. So, alois men ga kremata este pola kai ne es kai hipoi. He min de sumako yagatoi, hus u paradotea. Tois Atenai ois esten, ude dikais kai logois diacritea, me logoi kai autus blapdomenus, ala timoretea intake kai pante stenne. Now, my final example is quite long, but it's a wonderful example of a passage in Xenophon's Memorabilia where we have eight different um, verbal adjectives in the passage. We have from the verbs verapeuo, which is to care for, or to minister to, uergeteo, to do well to, opeleo, to benefit, peirao, to try, verapeuo again, epimeleo, which takes the genitive, uh, take thought of, manthano, uh, learn, and askeo to practice. So, to read the, read and translating, ton ga on ton agaton kai kalon uden anu ponu kai epemeleas de oi de do asen anthropois. So this long genitive clause of the things being good and noble. Uden nothing. Aneponu kai epimeleas, without uh, effort and attention. Deoi de doas and anthropois, do the gods give to men. So the gods give to men nothing that is of good and nobility to men without effort and attention. Allah, ete. De tu steus, he leos enai soi bule. But if you wish the gods to be propitious towards you, thera pe ute on tu steus, then you must honor or you must care for the gods. Ete, and if, hupopilon et eles agapastai, and if you wish to be loved by your friends, Ete hupopilon et eles agapastai, tu spilus et uergete teon. You must do well to your friends. Ete, and if hupotenos poleos epitumes timastai, and if you wish to be honored by any city, 
tain polen o pelete on. You must benefit that city. Eta, and if who potes helados passes axios ep arate daumas desai, and if you, you know, aspire um, or consider that you are worthy to be marveled at on account of virtue by all of Greece, okay, eta who potes helados passes axios ep arate daumas desai. Tain helada pe on eupoien. You must try to benefit all of Greece. And if eta gain bule soy carpus optonus perain, and if you wish the land to yield to you bound, bound, boundless uh, produce, tain gain thera peute on then you must uh, care for, attend to the earth. And eta, and if, apo boskematon oi e dain plutis desthai, and if from your flocks you think it is necessary to become wealthy, ton boskematon epimelete on. Now note that ton boskematon epimelete on Epi meleo takes the genitive, so then you must care for, be mindful of your flocks. And if eta diapolemu hormas auxestai kai bule dunastai tus tepilus eleuterun kai tus actrus kerustai, and if you um, wish, or and if you are so motivated to increase yourself and you wish to be able to uh, benefit your friends and harm your enemies. Tas polemikas tegnas autas te paraton epistamenon on. Then the arts of war themselves from those who know them on one must learn and kai hopos altais de kreisthai and however these need be applied askete on one must practice. So this is just a good example from Xenophon where you see all these uh, uh, verbal adjectives just coming together in one passage to express the series of mandates that are given if one desires these certain good outcomes in life. Okay, so again, we've looked at these verbal nouns, those in toss denoting possibility, but this lecture has been really uh, dedicated to the syntax of those in teos, tea, etc., denoting necessity. So, uh, have a good day. Here again is another uh, part of the collection from the museum in Spartae. Again, uh, votive uh, objects, objects that were found at religious sites of observance. Okay, have a good day, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.